Ezra 9 opens with Ezra receiving a gut-wrenching report that the people of God are compromised. You see, they had begun living just like the people around them. Some of the Israelite men had married pagan women, and worse yet, as it says in verse 2, their leadership led the way in this compromise and in this disobedience. And Ezra, Ezra is overwhelmed by this report. He tears his clothes, rips hair from his head and his beard, and plops down on the ground, utterly shocked. In fact, the original language here suggests that he was appalled and stupefied. You see, it was these very same sins of idolatry and compromise that caused Israel to be exiled in the first place. Well, he's joined by others who were just flabbergasted by this backslidden state of the people. And as he's on his knees with hands lifted to heavens, he prays. And I mean this man really prays. Ezra's honesty, shame, and embarrassment are evidenced in his prayer as he acknowledges the seriousness of their sin. And he even includes himself in their guilt. You see, Ezra doesn't offer excuses, not even an explanation for their sins, but recognizes that God has been gracious even in the judgment that he's already given. And that if God were to give the people the justice they deserved, they would not be able to stand before him. You see, simply, but ever so sincerely, Ezra is saying, God, you are good and we are guilty, very guilty. You know, it's very easy to view sin lightly in a world that sees sin as inconsequential. But our view of sin must come from the standard that matters and that will last. That's the standard of God's word. Sin is serious, serious enough to separate us from God and to send Jesus to the cross. So for today, two simple takeaways. Let's take sin seriously and let's thank God for his son Jesus. Let me read to you an exhortation from the Apostle Paul in Colossians 1 about the seriousness of sin and the goodness of God's grace and mercy in Jesus. You were his enemies, separated from him by your evil thoughts and actions. Yet now he has reconciled you to himself through the death of Christ in his physical body. As a result, he's brought you into his own presence and you are holy and blameless as you stand before him without a single fault. May we take sin seriously and thank God for his son, Jesus Christ. Through him, we have forgiveness and experience God's grace.